Hey, what's up guys? Zaya from Kernuba Detailing. Hoping you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today I'm at one of my customer's houses. Um, we're working on a Mazda CX-5. Now I've worked on this vehicle in the past. I've done a full um, one-step correction on it, followed by a 12-month sealant. And we're just doing a regular maintenance wash today, but we do have another issue that we had to address, or at least are trying or in the process of addressing, okay? But like always, guys, make sure if you're into detailing content, hit that subscribe button, the notification button, also the thumbs up button as well, and also check out all my social media pages below um, in the description, all right? But let's jump straight into it. All right, guys, and here is the beautiful Mazda CX-5. As you can see, it has the red crystal sole paint job from the factory. Um, you guys have probably seen these things driving around a lot and admire the paint and the, the shine and gloss that it produce, produces. Excuse me, um, And for very good reason, it's a tri-coat paint job, meaning there are three layers to the paint. The base coat, obviously, which is the red, but also a tinted or pigmented clear coat followed by another regular clear coat on top. Now, the issue with these types of paint jobs is if you do run into scratch or something like that, you can't just go ahead, wet sand it, or polish it out because you do have to worry about that pigmented clear coat right underneath the actual clear coat as well. And let me show you what's going on specifically with this car. So right over here, sadly, you can see a very, very deep scratch all the way to the base of the actual body panel. And there are a couple other scuffs here and there. Um, sadly, the garage door got caught onto the actual trunk of the vehicle, lifting up the tailgate and causing this type of damage that you're seeing. Now, the issue is, remember, we have our metal, the base coat, the pigmented clear, and also the regular clear coat on top. If I go ahead and wet sand this right now, or any other area, or do a heavy, heavy compound and polish correction, and go through that clear coat, which you probably have to to go ahead and remove something like this, Actually, this can't even be removed, to be honest with you. It's way too deep and way too wide. You're going to have a, a pink area surrounding the scratch that you're working on. So let's say that the scratch went through the clear coat and partially through the pigmented clear coat, and you start wet sanding and polishing it out. After you're done, you're going to find that you have a pink area rather than a red area because the pigmented clear coat is a lighter shade of red than the base coat itself. So these are little things you have to watch out for. So basically what I'm going to do as a detailer is take a photo of all the damaged areas on the vehicle. Share those photos with some of my other detailing professionals in the industry to see if someone has a bit more experience than I do when it comes to this tinted clear coat so we can go ahead and make sure to take care of it properly. I'm going to call some um, body shop guys and some paint guys to see what is the best action that we can take um, to go ahead and take care of this um, to the best manner and get the best results as well. I'm thinking I'm going to have to go ahead and fill that area in with the actual paint followed by the tinted clear, followed by a clear coat as well, sand that down and then polish it from there to get the best finish. And then the other areas I'm actually able to polish out, but that scratch and a few others around the trunk area are an issue that we need to address. This is a brand new car. We want to make sure it still looks new. Um, there's no excuse to have scratches like that on the vehicle if we are able to take care of them. Besides that guys, the rest of the car looks amazing. I've already done a one-step correction on this vehicle. There, This paint is looking perfect besides that rear trunk area. Um, there's so much gloss and shine. Um, and again, it's been topped with Beadmaker, so the pop that you're getting right now is from Beadmaker itself. I layer Beadmaker on top of this thing every month. I come by to do the maintenance wash, and it just looks stunning and amazing like always. The next vehicle we got to take care of is the Honda Odyssey. We're going to do a quick wash on that. And that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I just wanted to explain to you guys the tri-coat painted system. There are different kind of paint systems on the market. You have single stage, you have regular two-stage clear coat, base coat. But you also run into stuff like this that you have to watch out for. Um, so you have to make sure you do your research, you know what you're doing, and you know what you can't do to the vehicle in order not to damage it any further. This one, we're going to have to take our time. We're going to have to ask around to see what the best course of action is to go ahead and repair this to the best of our ability and then take it from there. Sometimes you have to set back, relax, do some research before you address the situation because you don't want to make it any worse. Um, thank you so much for watching guys. I really appreciate your support. Remember hit the subscribe button, the like button, and also the notification button for more. What kind of paint do you guys have on your vehicle? Comment in the section below. Um, I want to see what type of colors you guys got, what kind of issues you guys run into. Go ahead and fill up the comment section and tell me what you guys got. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day.